What's up? I'm Stephanie Sunshine. Today I want to share with you the differences between detoxing and cleansing. So modern trends allow both of those terms to be used pretty interchangeably. However, there are some major differences that are determined by the purpose, the method, and the desired outcome. And so those things will dictate whether you want to do something more of a cleanse or a detox when it comes to ensuring that our insides are well taken care of. So getting right into it, a cleanse is going to be basically a way of cleaning out the body. It can be seen as like a system reset or a major intervention for the body. And so the way that you are going to do that will usually involve bitter herbs, something that's very strong and able to come in and really push out or remove, help the body to eliminate things such as waste, accumulated toxins, foreign invaders into the body. So that can include things such as parasites and also heavy metals. So a cleanse is going to be a way of restoring order to the gut. We know that the gut is viewed as the second brain in the body. And when we say the second brain, we don't mean that it's less important than what's considered to be the first brain. It's just a matter of what do each of those two different things regulate within the body. So the brain, of course, is going to regulate the higher chakras and the higher self. It's going to be what's in charge of the mental processing and you know just really being able to control uh, everything from a top-down kind of way. All right, the gut is going to do the opposite of that. The gut is what is in charge of the lower self, the aspects of yourself that you don't have to think about, those gut instincts, those basic processes that regulate life and sustain your ability to continue from day to day. So the gut is extremely important. We know that poor gut health can affect everything from the hair, the skin, the blood, the libido, uh, your mood, everything is affected by whether or not you are okay with your gut health. So a cleanse is very important, especially when it comes to people who are just starting on a health journey, for example. I always recommend uh, clients or people that I work with to start out with a cleanse. You really wanna start with a smooth and blank canvas Make sure that you are able to really maximize the, the effects of, of the new lifestyle changes that you're making. All right, a detox, on the other hand, is going to be a way of supporting the body's natural processes. So the body naturally does cleanse and heal itself. Uh, we use things such as a cleanse to intervene when we have just really been taking the body through a lot of abuse over the years and also just kind of as a you know, you want to just do it periodically to kind of help jumpstart the healing processes. A detox is a way of basically doing things on a daily basis, on a day to day. Every single day, you're doing things to support the body's natural processes and natural ability to take care of itself. So when we think of a detox, a detox can, invo uh, can involve either uh, things such as supplements, things like activated charcoal, for example, or diatomaceous earth, things that can be ingested into the body to help support the body's processes. We can also do things such as massage, uh, dry brushing. Those are things that are going to support the body's elimination channels through the lymphatic system. We can do things such as taking uh, Epsom salt baths and that's going to help to draw out impurities within the body and help the body to eliminate toxins in that way so a detox again is just a way of supporting you know usually you want to focus on the organs within the body such as the liver and the kidneys because those are the primary organs that deal with ma waste management in the body so those are the major two differences between the detox and the cleanse no they're not the same yes it's okay if you get them mixed up a little bit just as long as you remember the the intention behind them and you know how to figure out which one of those you want to do like what methods do you want to use for the purpose and the desired results that you want to achieve 
All right. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. If you found this video helpful, please like it and also leave a comment. Let me know what else you would like for me to discuss. What would you like to learn more about? Peace.